Uba Uba Hop Zigzag Hop, here comes my friend Jungle life we must defend Uba Uba, his strategy His call, his philosophy Love a little botanical reconnaissance, Rod. <laughs> An Ichiyosa Pompid Mella. Whoa, whoa, easy now. This is already super heavy. Uh, Aunt Diane, what exactly are we looking for? Who knows? Anything we find. That's the beauty of research. The element of surprise. Yeah! Oh! Bread and tree roots. <laughs> See, Hector? It's incredible how many ways plants have of protecting themselves. <clears throat> Thorns, of course, but also a tough resistant bark. <laughs> And then there's poison, triggered by light. And then there are the typical Colombian plants, like the electric. Which electrocutes greedy little predators. <laughs> wow, what a beautiful parrot. No, it's a Torap, a very rare Colombian species. Hey, Marsu, you're not gonna make me carry this all by myself, are you? Well, I guess he is. Hector, you're lagging behind. Science cool. <laughs> <laughs> Scare you now? No! Oh, What's going on? Is this a joke or what, Marsu? Calm down, Mrs. Marsu. I'm pretty sure Marsu's recently developed a problem. So tell us, what's wrong with you? What's wrong? He doesn't like seven grain stew now? Let's see. Ever since he came back from the jungle, he seems really afraid when normally nothing scares him. It's almost as if he keeps seeing something that frightens him. Then nothing. Then he sees it again, and he's frightened again. But what in the world can it be? Ooh. 
My flying saucer! So that's where it was. Thanks, Mrs. Marsu. <laughs> Hold on. Is this what's scaring you, Marsu? <laughs> Mm, looks like we're going round in circles trying to figure out what's scaring you, Marsu. Huh? Round in circles? Of course! And what about this? Does this scare you? What about this? And this? And these? Sue, but I had to know for sure. Oh, oh B. <laughs> Aunt Diane, Marsu is scared of anything round. The minute he sees a round shape, he runs off screaming, just like that, for no apparent reason. How can that be? Could that delightful little creature have suddenly developed a phobia? Huh? What's a phobia? A phobia. It's an irrational fear of something. Like... Fear of spiders? Fear of spiders is arachnophobia. Fear of being in a confined space is claustrophobia. Fear of open spaces? Agoraphobia. Fear of excessively long words? However am I going to pronounce this word phobia? Marsu! Everything's gonna be okay! You just have roundophobia! You're just phobical of round things! Phobic! Uh -huh. I wonder how that happened. Aunt Diane, I don't know how he got this way, but the most important thing is to try not to make it worse, right? There we go. Marsu should calm down now, at least at camp. Get rid of this fear of yours. Oh, I'll help you, buddy. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, my. Fine, fine. Laugh all you want. Marsu, a round shape is not dangerous in and of itself. So I'm going to train you to overcome your fear of them. Are you ready? Oh, okay, let's begin. <laughs> Be brave, Marsu. Take a deep breath. Oh. Oh. Relax, Marsu. Think pleasant thoughts about things you love. <laughs> Marsu, come back here right now, you big nitwit! <laughs> okay, let's take it from the top, but slower this time. This is a cup of flatten you out tea. It's totally calming. Aunt Diane guarantees it. Huh? 
that herb tea is really way too effective. I'm gonna have to find something that'll wake him up. Oh. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. Marsu kick you out? You poor guy. Come here. Go to sleep now. by trying to cure Marsu, and now his family won't have anything to do with him. 
Hector, if we could find out the origin of Marsu's problem, perhaps we could cure him. Of course! <gasps> <laughs> Marsu, try to remember what was it that suddenly made you roundophobic? Hmm. Uh, well, perhaps I'll try to remember for you. Now, let's see. precise moment it hadn't struck you yet. But when you returned to camp, you had roundophobia. Therefore, something happened there at that precise moment. Let's go back. The jungle is loads of fun with Marsu as bodyguard, but not when he has a severe case of roundophobia. Marsu, wait up! Don't leave me all alone! <laughs> Think you're pretty clever, don't you, you rascals? You should help me find your dad instead. <laughs> Now you're pulling an ostrich. Come on, pull your head out. There's nothing to be afraid of. Sue, we're gonna find a solution. We're nearly at the place where everything began. Be brave. Yeah, yeah, okay. Hey, you were with Marsu when he caught his round of phobia. Did you see what happened? Yeah. Are you off and I'll sit off? You know what? Stop there, will we? Hmm. I think I better stop trying to talk to the animals. Okay, we're on the right track. Did you eat a fruit off this plant, Marsu? Yep, and it wasn't just one. You ate a whole bunch. Okay, it's a plant. So in order to find a cure, we need Aunt Diane. Mm, incredible! So you're the one who knocked our poor little Mart Sue for a loop. For a loop? <laughs> no, Aunt Diane, not that one. It's this plant here. How marvelous! A plant that turns anyone who eats it into a roundophobe, no doubt to protect its round fruit from predators. How amazing! Let's observe this little clearing's ecosystem. Mm. 
That's interesting. You're immune to roundophobia, it seems. In its fight to survive in this clearing, the round plant makes everyone who eats it roundophobic. As a result, predators eat the cubic plant instead. But the cubic plant contains an effective antidote for roundophobia in order to encourage predators to eat the round plant instead. The Torap, immune to both, eats both plants. My, isn't the Palombian flora simply marvelous? <laughs> Marsu, eat this. You'll see. <laughs> He's cured! He's developed an immunity! Give me five, Aunt Diane! <laughs> yeah! Stop eating all of that round plant! Each plant has its place in this marvelous ecosystem. One day he develops marsuphobia. <laughs> <laughs> <Uba, uba, hop. laughs>